This video describes the Tenkoff catheter insertion procedure. Tenkoff catheter insertion is an elective procedure for kidney failure patients who are going to be initiated on peritoneal dialysis. Tenkoff catheter is a permanent soft tube that is surgically placed in your peritoneal cavity, which is the space in your abdomen that contains your organs, such as stomach, bowels, and liver. Through this tube, dialysis solution also known as dialysate is introduced into the abdomen. The solution is circulated through the abdomen to remove toxins and extra water before being drained out at the end of the cycle. The tubing will sit on the right or left of your abdomen. Patients with active intestinal infection, have had multiple abdominal surgeries or multiple abdominal hernias are not suitable for Tenkoff catheter insertion. These patients will have to consider hemodialysis instead. Tenkoff catheter insertion is done under general anesthesia and you will be admitted for one to two days for observation. It involves a small incision next to your belly button to access the peritoneal cavity. The tube is then tested to ensure that there is good flow. Once this is done, the peritoneal cavity and the abdomen are closed, and the tube is secured at the side of the abdomen wall. Potential risks during and immediately post-operation will include bowel perforation, bleeding, wound infection, and failed outflow. In the long run, there is a risk of peritonitis, which is the bacterial infection of peritoneal cavity and cuff extrusion or infection. At the end of the procedure, you may observe some bruising which will resolve over time. Dressings must be kept dry. For this reason, you may be advised to avoid showering and to use body wipes instead for the next two weeks. You will be scheduled a visit with the PD nurse for dressing change and flushing of the catheter. Your PD nurse will advise you on the care of your Tenkoff catheter and provide training prior to initiation of peritoneal dialysis. You will also be given laxatives to clear your bowels regularly. If you have any queries, please approach your PD nurse. Thank you.